Hi, I'm Steven, CEO of Lambda, and today I'm going to be going over how to use Lambda Stack to install GPU accelerated Docker and run GPU accelerated Docker containers like the NVIDIA NGC containers. First thing we're going to want to do is install Lambda Stack. So go to lambdalabs.com and then go to resources and click on Lambda Stack and you'll see that there's a one line command install. So what Lambda Stack does is it installs the NVIDIA drivers that you're going to need to run GPU accelerated containers. Those drivers are then passed through into the container at runtime. But what it also does is install system wide all of the major deep learning libraries and frameworks like TensorFlow, PyTorch, Keras, and it will keep them all up to date for you if you just use sudo app get update, sudo app get upgrade. So what we're going to want to do is just run this command here. I've already got Lambda Stack installed, so this is just going to remind me that I've got the latest version already installed. But you're going to personally want to do a reboot if you don't have the NVIDIA drivers already installed after this. So now that I've successfully installed Lambda Stack, what I'm going to do is install the latest version of Docker and the NVIDIA container toolkit. You'll note that you can actually now use Lambda Stack outside of your container, so system-wide to, to, to run TensorFlow and PyTorch, um, but we're not going to be using those features today. So to install the latest version of Docker and the NVIDIA Container Toolkit, just do this, sudo apt get install docker.io and NVIDIA Container Toolkit, and that will install the, the necessary packages. So the first thing I'm going to do is just after that's installed, I'm going to check on the status of the, the Docker service. We want to make sure that's running. So you can use um, system control to check on the status of Docker. And you can see that there's a, it's not currently running and it looks like it started too quickly. This is no, no worries. You can easily resolve this by um, doing system control daemon reload and system control restart Docker. And that should give us the green light. So as you can see, the Docker daemon is currently running. And now we can get to downloading and running a NVIDIA NGC container. So I'm going to go to ngc.nvidia.com. And that's going to bring me to the container catalog. And we're just going to get the PyTorch container here. They provide the command. It's really, uh, really easy to use. So you just copy that command. And I'm going to just bring this terminal back here. And now that I've got that command, I'm just going to uh, paste it in. So I'm going to add sudo before that because you're going to need root permission to be able to pull a new image into your system. So I'm going to run that. And it looks like I've already downloaded this image previously. Um, but what you'll see is that it'll download, I think, a couple of gigabytes of data and you can just wait for that process to complete. And you can check on that by doing, um, you know, once the image is pulled, you can check on that by just doing sudo docker image list. And that will show the newly downloaded Docker image here. And we can now start to actually run it. So we can go back over to the NGC website and they provide some convenient starting commands for us to use. So this one will run a interactive shell that we can play around with. Um, and before we uh, paste that in, what I'm going to do first is set up a little bit of a shared directory between my local system and the Docker image. First, let me just make a shared directory. I'll just call it data. And so now you can see that we've got a little bit of a data folder there. And I'll just, um, I'll just put First of all, a little hello into there. So I'll do hello from outside of the container. And that has created a little text file for us to uh, verify that worked. I'm um, now going to mount or and mount that directory into the container. And we're going to uh, run an interactive shell. So again, uh, Docker run, you're going to want to do GPUs all and that's going to enable pass through of all the GPUs on your current system. And you can see that this is a TensorBook. It's got a 
RTX 2080 in it. And so that's what's gonna be available inside of the Docker container. So we're going to also, um, we're gonna mount the local directory data. So you're gonna to wanna to make sure you're, you're specifying absolute paths. So I'm gonna do pwd slash data, and then we're gonna mount that into the slash data folder in the container. And then what you're gonna to wanna to do is with the Docker image list command, you can either get the image ID or the, the repository and tag. In this case, I'm just gonna run it with the um, image ID, but you can also just type out the tag here. I'm gonna copy that image ID and I'm gonna choose that as the image that we're gonna run. So as you can see, the GPU accelerated Docker image from NGC is now loaded up and we've got a little bit of a workspace here. And so to make sure that we've properly mounted in the data folder, I can just ls the slash data directory. And you can see that within the Docker container, container we have the hello.txt file that we made last, uh, just a moment ago. So to show that this sort of is a two-way path, I can also say, you know, after you're done training, maybe you're done training a model or you've written some, um, some scripts and you want to move that back outside of the container, we can also write a little piece of uh, a little file. You can just copy some files into the data directory, but I'll just say from inside Docker container and I'll just say hello from the inside. And that will create a new file inside of the local outside of the container directory. So just to verify that that's the case, we can just ls that data directory and you can see that I'm not in the container anymore and you can see that both files exist there. So I can read that from inside the Docker container and uh, that's how you move data in and out of the Docker container once you've run it. So the just to show sort of this particular container has PyTorch version 1.9. So we can run Python and then import torch and then we can check the version by running torch dot underscore version. And that will show version 1.9, which is the version that's inside the Docker container. And again, like I said, because you've installed Lambda stack, you'll have a, a different version of PyTorch installed system wide on your, uh, on, on your computer. So we can also just check that. So again, on outside of the container, I will type Python import torch and we can check that that version is indeed different. You'll note that Lambda Stack installs, some, it installs things like TensorFlow, so you can import TensorFlow from outside the container, and you can see that that worked, but what isn't gonna work is importing TensorFlow from inside the container because it's not installed in the container. Great, everything that we've expected there, and um, we can also run NVIDIA SMI from within the container and you can see it's got the same GPU that's passed through. The other thing that's worth noting here is that you can check on your running Docker containers by doing sudo docker container list. I don't know if I can remember my password. And you can see that there is a container that's currently running and that's the container that we're working on here. So I can exit out of the container and if we run that command again, you'll see that there's no longer a container running. So that's a quick little introduction to how to use NVIDIA NGC with Lambda Stack. And you can see they work really nicely together. Lambda Stack manages and installs all the NVIDIA drivers that need to be passed through and makes basically running NGC containers and other GPU accelerated Docker containers just really easy. So thanks a lot. And I hope that that was a useful tutorial for you. If you've got any questions, don't hesitate to comment in the section, in the comment section. I'll be happy to answer any questions you might have. Thanks. Bye-bye.